This is 1962 Jefferson Nicolin MS67 Plus condition with full steps. The 1962 date is not a particularly noteworthy issue within a long-running Jefferson Nicol series, struck to the extent of nearly 100 million pieces. The 1962 is often seen with die erosion. This piece is not an exception as die flow lines appear on both sides, more prominently on the reverse, where they show both in the fields and on Monticello. However, this piece shows and no questions five full steps on the reverse, apparently at the expense of the hair near the Jefferson's ear. Generous luster prevails over lovely surfaces with pale jade, gold and pink hues. It was sold for $21,150 at heritage auctions. Here is 1976S Bicentennial Eisenhower dollar in superb uncirculated gem condition. Graded as MS68 Plus by PCGS and proven by CEC, the 1976S Silver Eisenhower dollar is a special commemorative coin that was minted to celebrate the bicentennial anniversary of the United States of America. It was part of a series of the coins issued to honor the nation's 200th birthday. However, the 1976S Silver Eisenhower dollar is distinct from the regular copper nickel version. It is composed of 40% silver and 60% copper making it a silver-clad coin. The silver content was added to commemorate the bicentennial occasion. MS68 Plus denotes an almost perfect coin with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. Coins graded at this level are considered highly desirable to collectors. It was sold for $7,031.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on with his wartime penny in 1943 as Lincoln Cent struck on a dime planchet. The Lincoln Cent design is fully appreciable, with even wear that is commensurate with a signed grade. Wispy hairlines and somewhat glossy texture are noted for accuracy, a scarce wrong planchet error that is particularly desirable due to its association by date and type with the famous 1943 copper cents. It was bargained for $1440 at Stex Bowers auction. This is 1970s Jefferson Nickel and Mean State 66 was full steps, considering the nine figure vintages produced during this period. The 1970s Jefferson Nickel is surprisingly scarce in full steps. The steps on this one are completely delineated, and the satiny surfaces are beautifully preserved. Hints of nickel gold toning grace each side. It was sold for $6,462.50 at heritage auctions. Here is 2000 p Sacagawea dollar in MS66 condition. The 2000 p Chirius dollar is a special variety of Sacagawea dollar that was distributed in select boxes of Chirius cereal as a part of a promotion by General Mills. These coins were included in a small number of specially marked boxes as a way to generate interest in the newly introduced Sacagawea dollar. The distinguishing feature of the 2000 p Chirius dollar is the presence of unique tail feather variety on the reverse side of the coin. The tail feathers on this variety are more detailed and prominent compared to the regular Sacagawea dollar. This superb gem ended up selling for $4,620.45 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1969D Kennedy Alf Dollar in MS66 Plus condition. This piece exhibits mottled copper orange, antique gold, and sea green patina to the obverse. The reverse is brilliant and both sides are exceptionally well preserved to fully justify the premium gem grade from PCGS. It was sold for $1057.50 at Stex Bowers auction. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons. Have a nice day. If you have rare and valuable coins, you can showcase them on our website, thecoinads.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinaz app, available in Play Market and App Store.